there has been a lot of talk about incomings and outgoings in the last week and we'd love rugby league have picked out the standout speculation. Kalkash set to leave Salford The Sun report that Marwin Kalkash is set to leave his position as owner of the Salford Red Devils. Plans are currently being created to bring in a trustee board at the club to replace the racehorse owner. A number of businessmen in the Salford area are set to take over the reins at the AJ Bell Stadium, and the plans for this to happen were given the green light in a meeting last night. But his exit is due to see a reduction in costs for the club with former Dal M medal winner Todd Carney recently revealing that he was being released due to the club cutting costs. Catalan's crunch there are murmurings in Perpignan that relegation from Super League would see eccentric chairman Bernard Guash walk away. Now in their 12th season, the Dragons were brought in as a franchise club, were exempt from relegation in their first few years, but are now staring at the barrel of relegation to the championship following the structural changes in the game in recent years. Sponsors and club partners are unhappy that all the work behind the scenes on improving the club's infrastructure and its youth development will go to waste if they do go down. What is decided regarding the future of Super League in 2019 could persuade Guash to sit tight for a year in the championship, while exciting plans for a new French league could turn his head too. Cunningham cracks the whip meanwhile, Catalan's million-pound game opponents have handed head of rugby Karen Cunningham a three-year deal. The St. Helens legend joined initially on a short-term basis until the end of the season, but has had his stay extended. It may not be to the liking of one or two players, who have incurred the wrath of Cunningham during his brief spell for being late to training on team meetings. Warrensi could remain at Halifax veteran winger Rob Warrensi could in fact stay at Halifax despite assistant coach Simon Griggs recently saying he would depart. Speaking in his post-match press conference following Halifax's 406 defeat at Lee Centurions two weeks ago, Grick said that Warrensi would leave the Shea at the end of the season. But the move has seemed to take a U-turn, with the former Sheffield Eagles star expected to sign a new contract with Halifax. Warrensi has recently joined the police, but head coach Richard Marshall revealed that the police are encouraging the winger to continue playing. Toronto interested in O'Loughlin Toronto Wolfpack have shown real interest in signing Wigan Warriors and England captain Sean O'Loughlin. The 34-year-old is out of contract with his hometown club, and the Nilipramanit Championship side are closely monitoring the situation. It hasn't been confirmed that there has been a formal offer put on the table yet, but it is understood that Wolfpack boss Paul Rowley is keen on bringing O'Loughlin to Canada. The Warriors and O'Loughlin have had talks over a contract extension for 2018, but a deal is yet to be agreed. However, the loose forward is expected to remain at the DW Stadium and finish his career as a one-club man. Hain Plain from the Gold Coast to Cronulla Cronulla Sharks are lining up an offer for Gold Coast Titans ace Jared Hain. The Australia star is contracted to the Titans for the 2018 campaign but it is reported that the club would allow the fullback to leave if another offer comes his way. Even though the Sharks have two highly rated fullbacks in Josh Dugan and Valentine Holmes, they could be tempted to put Hayne in the centres or on the wing. It is understood that the Titans would be prepared to pay a fraction of Hayne's large pay packets if he was to join another side. Warrington make one last offer to Gidley Warrington Wolves have made one final effort to persuade Kurt Gidley to come out of retirement for another season. Gidley announced earlier in the season that he would be hanging up his boots after a glittering career, having spent two years with the Wolves and 15 years with NRL outfit Newcastle Knights. The Wolves are trying to persuade the 35-year-old to play one more season with the club in 2018. A replacement is yet to be found for Gidley, but Declan Patton could be promoted to the number 7 jersey. What do you think of the gossip? Let us know in the comments below.